Okay, so uh, say we want to um, combine two pictures together. Um, and so the first thing is whenever you're looking for images, um, it's easier to find to to separate images from their backgrounds if their backgrounds are very simple. So if I open up this file I have here, And so here is a very simple background, um, which I could take away really quickly. I want to use this bottle, and I want to place the bottle into the hand of this statue. Um, and so I'm going to go back to the bottle, and there's many ways to select um, the background, um, but using a lasso uh, might be difficult. Um, even using the quick selection tool might be difficult because as I'm co going around it, sometimes it will select more than I want it to, as you can see down here at the bottom. So I'm going to go Command D, deselect this. For this, um, because there's such a defined edge here, I am going to, instead of using the uh, quick select tool, I'm going to use the magic wand and just click on this image right here. Um, and so to be non-destructive, I'm going to add a layer mask to this. Um, but if I add a layer mask right now, it's going to get rid of the bottle. And I want to keep the bottle and get rid of the background. So I'm going to go Command Z uh, and undo that. So right now, the selection is the background. I actually want the selection to be the bottle. So up into Select, we can inverse the selection. So when I do that, now there's now it's selecting the bottle and not the background. And so I can come down here to the layer mask and click on layer mask. You can see that it's added a layer mask right there. And now we have no background. Uh, the checkerboard means that it's transparent. Okay, so now I can take this and bring it into the other um, the other image. And I can easily do this by, if I kind of drag this down a little bit, um, and I still have that layer of the bottle showing, so it's in the front. And I can just drag that layer and drag it right on top of this, and now this bottle is in the photograph of the statue. And so if I want to like have the bottle kind of aiming in this direction, uh, so the hand is like carrying it, um, what I can do is um, we can go to edit and go to free transform or command T and if you come over to the edge you can see that arcing arrows right there and I can turn it like that um, I can scale it hold the shift key down and scale I'm uh, holding the mouse down and dragging the mouse to scale that and then I'm letting up on everything and now I'm clicking and holding this with the mouse and I can rotate this around a little bit more uh, maybe I can make it smaller uh, shift click hold drag make it smaller and kind of like that little thumb right there is going to be that and if you ever get this snapping issue um, you can hold the control key down um, as you're moving it if you hold the control key down um, it'll stop snapping So I've got it in position, but I think what I want to do is I want to have this little piece of thumb kind of come in front of the bottle. So I'm going to execute this um, adjustment. So that's this little check mark. And then I'm going to turn the eyeball off of this layer and turn the visibility off. And I'm going to go Command, Spacebar, and zoom into this thumb right here. And I want to have this thumb kind of um, come in front of the bottle. So how would I select that? Um, I probably wouldn't use the selection tools. Um, you might be able to use the polygonal lasso tool to select things. If I kind of go in here, really. And all I want is the little Part of the thumb to go in front. So that's one way. Um, now w when I do this there's a really harsh edge to this and I want it to be more of a softer edge. So 
um, I would go select um, modify and feather and feather the edge I would say about one or two pixels click OK um, make sure that the background image is selected which it's not right now the bottle layer is selected so if I select the uh, image of the statue and if I go edit copy edit paste you'll notice that there's a layer 2 right here and that layer 2 has that bit of the thumb and I want to put that thumb on top of the bottle and then if I turn the bottle back on you'll see that that thumb is now in front of the bottle if I turn that layer on and off you can see that I've added a little piece of the thumb in front of it now I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to show you a different way of doing this um, and I'm going to turn the bottle off and instead of doing that a polygonal lasso tool I'm going to try the pen tool so if I click on the pen tool and if you're good with um, curved points which is uh, basically click hold and drag your mouse to get a little curve point click hold and drag click hold and drag uh, click hold and drag click hold and drag click hold and drag and then um, uh, just clicking makes corner points like that so now I've created a path around that thumb and then we go to the paths panel right here and there's that little path that I created and then we're going to go to the flyout menu these four lines and then go make selection and again I'm going to rather feather it about one pixel anti-alias means that there's a smoother edge to it and then click OK and here's that same marquee that was created very similarly with the polygonal lasso select that layer that you want to copy um, command C or edit copy command V or edit paste and you'll see that that layer has come up I'm gonna drag that layer above the bottle and then turn the bottle on and again you can see that I've created that uh, item in front of the bottle so it looks like this um, the statue is uh, is holding a bottle now you kind of can kind of look at this and see that the statue seems to have uh, uh, more gray area than really dark area and you could fix this um, Photoshop has come a long way with its automation um, and if you go to image adjustments now now look at what I'm doing right here I'm, I'm realizing that I'm I have the layer 2 selected and I want to apply this to the statue um, you can go image um, adjustments brightness contrast and click auto it's made a little bit darker we can go to image adjustments and try levels click auto we could also go image adjustments and try curves and click auto and now you can see that uh, the statue is a little bit darker kind of matches the darkness of the bottle but you can also see that this thumb that I have uh, put on this layer above it that uh, adjustment has not been applied to that so I can actually just take that thumb right here I'm going to drag it into the trash down here and go back to the foreground now if you remember that path is still here so I can go back to this path and go make selections and feather one anti-alias OK copy command C paste command V and drag it in front of the bottle and now we have our um, statue holding a bottle thanks